hello brothers and sisters i'm back with another video so today i'm going to be going over the akashic records so what is the akashic records revelation 20 11, 15 states and i saw a great white throne and the one sitting on it the earth and sky fled from his presence but they found no place to hide i saw the deed both great and small standing before god's throne and the books were open including the book of life and the dead were judged according to what they had done as recorded in the books the sea gave up its dead and death and the grave gave up their dead and all were judged according to their deeds then death and the grave were thrown into the lake of fire this lake of fire is the second death and anyone whose name was not found recorded in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire so many times i have pondered about the book of life and this great white throne i knew that the heavenly father and his son yeshua sat on this throne but i wanted to understand this place in heaven and i wanted to fully understand the lake of fire as time passed by i began to interpret the lake of fire as karmic judgment for the soul if we follow God's commandment to love, then we will be rewarded with eternal life. But if we live our lives contrary to the will of God, then we choose death instead of life for ourselves. In essence, you reap what you sow. While you are living your life, you can either sow good seeds or sow bad seeds. Wisdom tells us that when we sow something into the ground, that we can expect that which we have planted to grow. For example, when a farmer plants apple seed in the future, he expects that he reap apples. Here is another principle of sowing. A man who sows a life of crime can expect to reap prison. A woman who sows hard work and commitment to her job reaps a promotion. As we begin to learn life lessons, we begin to understand that every single action has a consequence. You have to keep in the back of your mind what is going to be the ultimate result of my actions. For instance, every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. If you have done something wrong, know that your bad deeds through your actions will eventually catch up to you at some point in time and you will have to accept and deal with the consequences galatians 6 7 states don't be misled you cannot mock the justice of god you will always harvest what you plant 2 corinthians 9 6 through 9 states remember this a farmer who plants only a few seeds will get a small crop but the one who plants generously will get a generous crop you must each decide in your heart how much to give and don't give it reluctantly or in response to pressure for god loves a person who gives cheerfully and god will generously provide all you need then you will always have everything you need and plenty left over to share with others as the scriptures say they share freely and give generously to the poor their good deeds will be remembered forever the akashic records contains the books of life it could be likened to the universe's supercomputer okay the word akasha comes from a sanskrit word meaning boundless space and it is a central storehouse of all information for every individual who has ever lived the etheric library of god contains etheric tablets stored in the great temple of light and it contains every deed word feeling thought and intent that has occurred at any time in the history of the world there is a central database at the center of every world in the universe and all central points are interconnected which creates the great throne of god in the whole universe the akashic records contains all of the history of creation itself and these records interconnects all of us these records have been the inspiration for dreams and invention as all things come from space-time 
all information ever known exists within the quantum realm and the information is spread through every region in space the records draw us towards each other or repel us from one another the records mold and shape levels of human consciousness the records are one with the divine mind this is the reason why the greatest commandment is love love is the key to ascension every soul must progress through time space and if the soul doesn't learn how to truly love unconditionally then you will constantly rise up only to fall until you make a conscious decision to operate from a place of love in the world those who refuse to learn their lessons in life will only make things harder for themselves they will most likely create their own etheric prison for themselves at the end of their life and they would be tormented by their own demons that they have created in a realm of space your own book of life is the true judge people are unconsciously creating their own fate and destiny when the soul is ready to be set free it will surrender to love the Akashic Records can be a representation of the throne room and there in the throne room sits um, a just judge and jury or council of righteous beings that are there to guide your soul, educate you and transform every individual to become the best person he or she can be. For example, imagine Yeshua sitting on a great white throne in a great etheric temple which is like a higher heaven, you guys, created at the core of this earth. In the etheric temple of pure light, there is a hall of records filled with books of life of every soul who was born on this earth. Then imagine he had a council of light beings or elders sitting on the throne as the jury. All beings who are a part of the council are the wise and ancient ones of earth. Imagine there are 24 elders sitting on the throne and they were selected to reign next to Yeshua on the throne. So let's say when a soul departs from the avatar body, which is the physical body, it is taken to the throne room, okay, to review their book of life. And that's when the book is open for the soul to review. If the soul needs to learn more things, then a plan is expected established for that soul the beings of light are there to help you not punish you for all of eternity your records show you how you have lived on the earth and if you have learned your lessons in life now the records are unbiased and the records are the true judge of where you stand in your soul's journey the records will reveal the truth no matter what because it has captured and recorded everything that you have done in life. The records will show how you handled every situation in life and how you treated others around you. Every time a choice is being made, the quantum realm is creating possible outcomes and possible situations for you to experience throughout your life. We must be conscious with every decision we are making for our own spiritual growth. Once you become in tune with your higher self, you would be connected to the divine council. And they will communicate with you through the spirit to help you on your soul's journey. Things doesn't always have to remain the same. We have the power to change things in our life. The quantum realm is an ever changing flow of energy that projects possible futures. There is potential in all things. I would like to get into God's memory since all things are remembered or recorded. But first, you guys, I want you guys to know that it actually took me time to comprehend the things um, that I will be sharing with you or that I am sharing with you. 
Um, I truly wanted to understand the concept of the Akashic Records, the Book of Life. And I am only providing information in hopes that it will help you better understand the concept of the Akashic Records on a higher level. I want you all to become more aware of the deeds that you are committing daily. I also want you to become more aware of your own feelings and emotions because you can affect or influence others positively or negatively. It is important that you become conscious of your own thoughts, deeds, and behaviors because an unconscious intent behind any action may result in a negative experience for you and the person who is involved in the situation. In essence, our true intentions are observed and analyzed in the Akashic Records. I always say, let's judge the matter righteously. And when I say that I am saying that I want to judge the matter based upon reviewing all the records stored in the Akashic Records. In order for one to see the whole matter, one must step back and observe and analyze the whole situation from all angles to see all perspectives. For me to come to a conclusion on any matter, I must first collect data or information from all parties involved in the act to come to a final decision on what needs to happen moving forward. By the time of making my final decision, I would have established a plan, a course of action for all the individuals involved. The plan will have all the lessons that needs to be learned and a pathway will be created in order to learn those lessons. Opportunities would always present itself in the individual's life to make improvements and it would be up to the individual to use the opportunities to show their personal growth. Your choices ultimately determines your thought process and it shows how you have been progressing in time on a particular lesson. You could either make the same choice where you didn't learn your lesson or you could select a different choice where your soul is progressing. As you begin to progress through time, your soul is moving forward on the ascension path. We all must come to understand that each choice we make leads up or down a different pathway. Regardless of which path we take, opportunities will present itself for you to make a better choice so you can be led down the path of ascension. You can take the long way by repeating the same cycle or you can wake up and break out of the old habits or the old ways of thinking. You can set yourself free from the karmic cycle by doing better with your life by making a positive change. It's all up to the individual on how fast one learns its lessons in life and your progression is recorded in the book of life. The Akashic Records are constantly creating pathways or plans for every individual. The records are here to help our souls grow and learn in life. The Akashic Records will always and forever collect and store every event in a person's life. All those events will be stored in a etheric library, recording every deed, thought, feeling, and intent behind every action. So you guys, really thinking about this thing, what is the etheric library of God? It's DNA. DNA is the blueprint of life and it is located in every cell of the body. This is God's memory. Information is being stored in your DNA strands and it becomes cellular memory. The 
Creator of all is omniscient, which means the source knows everything. That means the source remembers everything there is to know. On a much higher level, the creator of all would have the ability to access the source of all to pull the Akashic records of all living beings. You can comprehend this concept by understanding the idea of one being able to access a database of DNA on the earth. A DNA database or DNA data bank is a database of DNA profiles which can be used in the analysis of genetic diseases, genetic fingerprinting for criminology, or genetic genealogy. Well, just like the DNA database can be used for analysis, the creator can use the Akashic Records to analyze all beings or creation itself. Regardless of how you choose to look at it life is recorded and stored in the dna cells of our body and one must come to this realization to comprehend the infinite mind of the creator it's been known that god's mind is incomprehensible and on my soul's journey i've made a conscious decision to follow the mind of god and my choice has led me down a path of self-discovery and i have been understanding the plan that god has established for me it was later revealed that i had the key to unlock and access the records and it was accessing cellular memory already stored in the dna in my body surely my body is a temple of god and i realized this as Thoth taught me from beyond in the great pyramid i stood at the entrance of the door and i knocked on the door and he opened up the gate and i saw this for myself all that exists in the spiritual world exists in the physical world on some level one must be able to see with the inner eye or the third eye to understand the mysteries of God. Right now today, the computer has transformed the planet. The computer has brought about a big change around the world. The amount of information now stored in a computer memory is unfathomable. So with that being said, can you imagine how much memory can be stored in our DNA? The human body is made up of trillions of cells. Can you imagine all the DNA cells within you forming and creating an infinite library? Imagine a spiraling structure above your head right now. Let's say that the DNA structure is an etheric blueprint for the etheric library in heaven. The strands of DNA create the ladder, but at the same time, the strands of the DNA are the shelves of a bookcase. Information is then stored within the strands of the DNA as the eye of God. You see infinite spiraling structures of DNA records surrounding you before the throne of infinite space. The throne of God is everywhere, and it's not just located in one particular place. It's the entire etheric realms. The ether penetrates through all things, all physical worlds. Now that you are aware that you are standing on God's throne, you realize that you are now surrounded with God's infinite light. As you begin to comprehend the heavens, you will see that DNA emits light and that it also absorbs light. So overall, brothers and sisters, the Akashic Records is an invisible field of energy that stores all knowledge of the past, present, and future for the collective consciousness. The records of all living beings are captured in this field of energy and it can be accessed everywhere at once. There is limitless information in this field. All things are sent back to the source. As stated in a previous post of mine, our consciousness is one with the Creator's consciousness. We are one with the Source field. We are all interconnected to this intelligent field. I want to leave you with this. Our dreams can help guide us in our life. They can help us solve 
problems, receive insights, and higher teachings from higher dimensions, even parallel worlds. We can learn about ourselves by connecting to our higher self on a deeper level. It is important that we become more in tune with our dream time. The truth is, we all enter into the dream space even when we are not aware of it. I am conscious um, that I am dreaming every night. I experience different types of dreams and during my dream time, I am exploring multiple aspects of myself in parallel realities. The experience that I have during dream time helps me understand myself as a spiritual being. I am able to see how my consciousness travels through atoms. All that I experience is for learning purposes only. I am a seeker of knowledge and I love exploring different perspectives and realities. Sometimes I don't remember my dreams and there are times when I vividly remember my dreams. I have the ability to pull in information from higher planes or other realities that will be useful for me in my life. It all depends on what I am exploring in other worlds or lifetimes. Most people don't realize that our dreams can help us progress spiritually. If you're having recurring dreams, then your subconscious mind is trying to tell you something. Maybe it's something that you need to work on or work out in your life, or maybe it's something that you need to become conscious of so you can grow. It is important for us to understand that our thoughts, deeds, and actions are constantly being recorded and stored in our DNA. All of our life experiences are stored daily within the Kashic records. As we sleep, our thoughts are being processed within the subconscious mind. It is important that we dig a little deeper to find out the hidden messages stored within us because it could help you in your soul's journey and progression. There is always a period of time when I reflect on the dream time. I am a conscious dreamer and I remember most of my dreams. It is time, you know, for all of us to meditate on the messages that we receive from our higher selves and also from our ancestors. Well, brothers and sisters, this is it for this video for the Akashic Records. Of course, there is so much more information um, about the Akashic Records, but this is an overview of some of the things that I have learned through time. Um, everyone has their own perspective on the Akashic Records or the Book of Life. And I've come across many different teachings on the Book of Life or the Akashic Records, ranging from lower thought forms to higher thought forms. And I hope you guys can understand what I say because, like I said, everyone has their own perspective on life and on everything that we learn in life so you can go to someone and they can tell you how they feel what they see what they've learned what they've experienced and it's not going to be the same as what you experience or what you have learned or what you even know so you just have to be wise you guys Connect to your higher self, connect to the source of all things, which is the creator itself. Don't go and rely on one person's teachings because that's from their perspective and what they've received. And I just want to let you guys know that I received a lot of information from a lot of people, okay, because I'm wisdom, okay? So I, I don't limit myself to just one thing, one teachings, one book. Um, I have an open mind about a lot of things, and um, I work with all the angels of light, okay? And like I say, angels of light, you guys, can range from many different dimensions, okay? And um, there's many um, different levels of heaven, okay? So I'm coming from a perspective of knowing there is infinite space and there is infinite kingdoms, okay, in space, okay, or in the ether, okay, or in the heavenly realms, okay. So most people know it as different terms, but it's all referring to the same thing. Since we are now increasing our knowledge right now, 
a lot of us is receiving information from higher beings, okay? And they want to communicate to um, communicate with us, and they want to give us a better understanding because we are not like little kids anymore, you guys. We have grown, and we are actually evolving through time, okay? So what once was in the past, you guys, it's not like that. We're always transforming. We're getting better at understanding ourselves as spiritual beings so as time progress you guys you will begin to see that new information is going to be coming in and um we're going to be basically communicate communicating with higher beings you guys that are from other worlds okay from the ether from the ethereal worlds okay so a lot of people may not resonate with the things that I talk about, and that is absolutely fine. It is okay. I did not come to earth to have everybody resonate with everything that I teach, okay? I'm here because I want to be here, okay? Because I chose to come here to give you guys my inner wisdom and to give you things from a different perspective because I have a range, okay, of realities going on at the same time. So I can operate in multiple dimensions at the same time, you guys. So I am not like everyone else. When you hear me speak about things, it's not going to be what everybody else is talking about. So I'm not going to be categorized with someone else. Okay. We may have some things that are similar and I pull from a lot of people because I resonate from them or their teachings or what they have channeled in from higher beings. Okay. And I am here to share those things. I I'm here to collect all of those things that have been stored within the etheric library okay so in essence i'm telling you guys that you know i've created an identity for myself and i work in the etheric regions okay i work in the etheric library of heaven and i you know research and um study i read all different types of books that there is okay and i collect all the information so that i can make sense out of it for some people out here who don't understand it now if you understand a lot of things then fine that's great but there's a lot of souls out here who need help and need a little push and need some motivation and also needs inspiration okay so just because you are on your path and you're you feel like you're doing fine and you get it and you okay and you know the truth that's good for you okay but there are other people out here who actually needs help and they need a little push okay so many of us have descended to the earth to help during this time of ascension okay so i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video uh, pertaining to the akashic records um and i will be doing more videos um as time goes on so i dive deep into a lot of things and there are some things that i wanted to dive deep into but i thought that people were not ready to hear the things that i had to say but you know i'm not going to let that hold me back from my mission i know what why i'm here what i'm here to do and i'm going to complete that mission and um I've said it plenty of times on all of my other pages like on Facebook and things like that that you know my messages will reach the souls that it's supposed to reach in time okay so I'm here for a select few souls okay so I'm not here for everybody all right so I'm here for a select few that will be able to pick up on my signal that I am beaming out okay so thank you guys so much for sticking around um I will be back with another video soon. Bye.